Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the Ibla Maddie, 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 Maddie. It's the illest bird in the land. Welcome back to Ill Blur. Maddie, welcome back, Lips Community. <coughs> it's the hardest working blur on YouTube. Let's get into today's new video. <coughs> today's new video is something that really caught my interest. I was even blown away by it. I was like, dang, Nintendo dropped a bomb on us, baby. You dropped a bomb on me, baby. Uh, we all know that Nintendo had their Nintendo Direct where they showcased their games that are uh, upcoming <coughs> for this year and next year. And it seems like um, there was one game that I was like, you know what? I never got a chance to play this. <laughs> this is great that they're finally going to release it on the Nintendo Switch. And um, originally this game was $39.99, uh, but it seems like Nintendo has decided to bump the price up for the game. And fans are disappointed by this choice, so let's get into it. Uh, fans are furious with Nintendo about Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. So, um... The first thing I have to address, <laughs> and I have to address this, is this game has been on a prior Nintendo console. It was known as Donkey Kong Country Returns on a handheld console <laughs> by Nintendo, right? So I'm like, Nintendo, like, this is not a very fresh new game. Usually new games are usually $60, right? Sometimes $70, $80. Um, this is a game that you guys decided to bump up the graphics. You're not adding additional characters <laughs> from Donkey Kong Country, right? You are not adding new levels to the game. Um, this shouldn't be $60. That, that That's the thing that I, the issue I have with this. I can see, but let me just explain something else too. This is not the only game <laughs> that uh, Nintendo has done this with. And I'm speaking recently. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 was, in fact, $60, right? $60, same issue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Game was on a previous Nintendo handheld console, right? Then you release it on the Switch, just boosting the graphics. So, Nintendo, are we paying for the quality of the game? That's what it seems like. They said, oh, we know fans been wanting a new Donkey Kong game, right? So they like, okay, let's see what we're going to release, right? <laughs> I mean, and they did it in a way where you're like, wow, they really want the money, all right? Um, Crazy. $60, man. <laughs> I'm still just like, oh, my God, Nintendo. Oh, my God, why are y'all doing this to the consumers <laughs> slash gamers, right? Um, it's a bit much, you know what I'm saying? But the other thing that I'm, uh, that I should say too, with this, uh, y'all could have just said, let's make a whole new Donkey Kong game. You know what I'm saying? Versus like releasing this. I mean, I'm sure people still want to play this, right? <laughs> if it was enjoyable on the previous Nintendo, uh, console, that was the handheld, uh, there are going to be fans that want to see play it again. Nostalgia factors. Um, Nintendo, you have the fastest selling console. So to me, it's a money grab. Nintendo said, we know they want another Donkey Kong game. Let's make it $60. And some of them are going to eat it up, right? Um, we can pip as, as the consumers. That, that's really what it boils down to. <laughs> when it comes down to, they say, well, we're going to do these HD, re, uh, you know what I'm saying, where the quality is about a lot better, fans are going to eat it up. But it's a blurred living word, guys. You tell me in the comments, do you think Nintendo <laughs> should have kept Donkey Kong Country Returns HD, the original price? And my next question is, do you think Nintendo should have just made a brand new Donkey Kong game? Because we haven't had one since Tropical Freeze. It's a blur. Living world, guys. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing. Have a wonderful day, Legends, and I'm out.